Hi there friends and lovely people. Welcome to a new episode of your weekly teaching from God's Word. Trust you're doing fantastic. That's great. Now let's go straight to scriptures because I want to share something with you uh, that's important. Now Isaiah 55 from verse number 7 says, Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call on him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake their ways and the unrighteous their thoughts. Let them turn to the Lord and he will have mercy on them and to our God for he will freely perform. He says, for my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, declares the Lord. I can't tell you, friends, how many times I've met someone in counseling who found him or herself in very bad situations. And when they open up to me, eventually they say something like, I didn't think it would be like this. Now, for sure, what they meant was they didn't plan for the outcome that has now come to materialize. Now, the deeper meaning for me, however, is this. The thoughts they had at the time led to the outcome they didn't see because they didn't think that far. You see, friends, our thoughts, whether we contemplate them, will always lead to our ways, the steps and the actions we eventually take. Most of us don't actively think about what we think about. It is the downfall of many people. Now, in verse 7, the Bible says, let the wicked forsake their ways and the unrighteous their thoughts. You see, friends, unrighteous thoughts will always, always, always lead to wicked ways. A person who kills or has killed people has didn't start out by thinking, well, I'm going to go out there and kill some people right now. Or wouldn't it be nice to go and kill that lady? No, they certainly didn't do that. However, they may have begun by thinking about, yeah, wouldn't it be nice if I just have a Rolls Royce? Although at the time, maybe the person was earning 500000 a month. That thought in itself is not unrighteous, by the way. Then, once that thought takes firm grip on his mind, he begins to think about fast ways to achieve that lost full dream. He begins to maybe steal from the company, for example. Before long, maybe he's even able to buy a luxurious car from the ill-gotten wealth. And then, one day, the company auditor finds out and they struggle. Or perhaps a young undergraduate in the university who's been sent there to study says, well, wouldn't it be nice if I'm one of the big boys on campus? I can join a cult. I can have a badge of honor. You know, I'm tough. People fear me. I worry about it. Man, maybe I go and rough up one or two people. Or maybe we go and steal. But then he did not think that one day he could go somewhere and they say, listen, you have to kill that person. Situations change. Thoughts lead to ways. Ways gives repercussions. Even God said, my thoughts are not your thoughts. Neither are my ways, your ways. Your thoughts will always lead to your ways. Let me show you something from uh, Proverbs chapter 3. One of my favorite verse, uh, scriptures. In verse number 6 and 7, it says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not unto your own understanding. It says, In all your ways, submit to him and he will make your path straight. You see, when we begin with the thoughts, which are the thoughts of our hearts, that word thought there actually means feeling your will, your intellect. So it includes things that in your mind. In the next verse, we see the progression where thoughts leads to ways. Now, ways there literally means road. The road that you take will be informed by the thoughts that are in your head. When we make God the source of our thoughts, our thoughts align with God, then our ways will be acceptable to him. If they don't do that, if they do not align, then there will be incongruence and there will be problem. Friends, I pray God will help you to manage your thoughts and you will have understanding and you will be able to think about what you are thinking about. The problem is that we do not think about the outcome of our thoughts and the decisions before we go into them. And then when we then take those decisions, we land in problem. Will you do one thing for me today? Will you think about what you're thinking about? Will you be deliberate to say, Lord, help me that the thoughts of my mind 
Now, Sami said, may the, may the words of my mouth, may the meditations of my heart be acceptable in your sight. That's my prayer for you today. May the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart and yours, may they be acceptable before the Lord and may our steps be pleasing unto him. God bless you. Thank you. I hope I've inspired you. Get rid of evil thoughts and let your thoughts align with God's word. Until next time, I'm your host, Pastor Funke, and I really do appreciate you. Stay strong. Keep it together. You're going to make it in the name of Jesus Christ. We will all make it. Bye for now.